Today, I'll be demonstrating our submission to the Visual Wake Words Challenge. This challenge was whether we can detect if there's a person or not a person in a given image. However, this runs on an IoT device and has to fit in a very tight computational budget. The model had to be under 250 kilobytes, run at less than 250 kilobytes of peak memory usage, and have less than 60 million multiply ads. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating our model on two platforms, the Raspberry Pi and the Google Pixel 3. So without further ado, let's start with the demos. For our first demo, let's take a look at the Visual Wake Words model deployed to the Raspberry Pi 4, which is a very affordable device coming in at only $35. Our model is able to achieve 94.58% accuracy after quantization, so let's see the model in action. So currently, the webcam's not pointing at anything, so there's no person detected. But if I move into the frame, immediately we can start to see that there's a person, me, that's being detected by the camera. Now that I walk out of the frame, we can start to see that no person is being detected. Now, let's try a more challenging case. So if I have my friend just peek his head over the top of the table, we can see that the model is still able to detect him, even with only his face showing. And now if he fully stands up, the model is able to detect that he's there. And if he moves out of the frame, again, the model classifies that there's no person in the frame. Now, let's see how our model performs on the Google Pixel 3. So as you can see, it can do a very good job of detecting people very quickly and with very high confidence. This model also has very low latency because as you can see, we're doing a live image stream with quick, sharp camera movements and the model is still quickly reacting to those changes. This model also performs well in more complex scenes, such as this lab environment. Even though there's multiple people and plenty of objects and occlusion, the model still can predict whether there's a person or no person in the image with very high confidence. In order to create a model that would perform both accurately and efficiently, we used proxyless NAS and hardware-aware quantization. We used proxyless NAS in order to search a model architecture that would perform well with respect to the hardware that we were deploying the model on, and we used hardware-aware quantization to quantize our model in such a way as to best utilize the hardware architecture. As mixed precision methods such as hardware-aware quantization aren't supported on most standard architectures, we only use hardware-aware quantization for one of the tracks of the Visual Wakeboards Challenge. We are humbled to have been able to place first in last year's Visual Wakeboards Challenge and would like to thank Google for their support and for hosting the competition. Performing person detection in a manner that's both accurate and efficient is important, especially for IoT devices. In many applications, knowing that a person is present can serve as a wake-up word to the device to tell it that it should start to power on and begin more complicated processing. 